A Korean war hero from Metro Detroit made countless sacrifices for our country. Now, all these years later, he's receiving another tremendous honor. Our Andrea Isom sat down with a 90-year-old veteran whose name will now be on display for thousands to see. I really am proud of being a private first class, doing the job the country asked me to do. Mr. Robert Simonick is 90 years old and he's lived in Oakland County for a very long time. But so much of his journey in life is a monumental part of American history. We're all a, a big damn group of people that love our country and we need to serve as our country asks us to do. Mr. Semenik enlisted in the Marine Corps in the 1950s and served in the Korean War. This veteran received notable medals of honor for his countless sacrifices in combat and for his loyalty and respect for the men who fought alongside him. At the tender age of 22, the private first class and his squad was ambushed by Chinese troops. Simonik was seriously hurt, suffering severe leg injuries. But what ailed him did not stop him from being selfless. Simonik threw himself on a grenade to save his friends, comrades from harm. To me, it was something that just had to be done. And he received the Medal of Honor from President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, jeez. Oh, the, the whole idea of that happening and Mr. Eisenhower. And the recognition for his valor and prowess is still being acknowledged to this day with a brand new U.S. Navy ship that will bear his name. The expeditionary sea base, USS Robert E. Simonick. I couldn't believe it, and that the ship being named with, with my name on it, to me, is just so unbelievable, because I think of some other guys I knew that had the Medal of Honor also. The ship is set to be complete in 2024, and will perform a multitude of pivotal duties across the globe. My ship with a name Simonek on it, to be honored like this, I, I, I just can't, can't believe. I, I'm just so thrilled that such a thing is happening. What an incredible and well-deserved honor for Mr. Simonek to share with his family and friends and for the world for years and years to come. Thank you for your service, sir, and God bless. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. How we appreciate his heart and soul and service. Absolutely, a true American hero. Yes.